Hi guys, welcome to our section how to solve system of equations in the TI-84 calculator. Let's do it. So let's say that you have something like this and they tell you solve the following system of equations 2x plus x equals 5 x minus y equals 1, and we need to do this with a calculator. Now, I'm just picking a very simple example, but you can do any system of equations in the TI-84. I'm going to show you how. Let's do it. Perfect. So we have the calculator right here. We're going to go ahead and go to second matrix, and we're going to go ahead and do it on matrix A. So with this button, just move to edit and click enter. Now, you see here that our matrix is a two by three. So you need to fix that and you need to put two by three. Now we're gonna go ahead and plug the values of the system of equations. The calculator will always assume that you're putting x, y, and then the constant. So we have to do it. I'm putting two, which I already have there, enter, one, enter, 5, enter, then look, you have an invisible 1, so 1, enter. Now, this negative 1, I use this negative. Do not use this negative. You will have an error. So just put negative 1, enter, and then finally the constant 1, enter. In order to get out of here, you need to do second quit. Now I'm going back to second matrix and I go to math. I go to the function R ref, which is right here, and you click enter. Now we need to call the matrix that we want the calculator to solve. So I do second matrix, it was A, and voila. When you move to the right, you will have the value on the top is going to be x and the value on the bottom is going to be y. And that's my answer. x equals 2, y equals 1. You can put anything you want. I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick example again. Let's say that um, you have another system of equations. I just want to show you with fractions. Uh, let's say 5, negative 2. I'm just making this up, 6, uh, then 4, and then let's put negative 5, and then 9. Now, second quit to get out, then I go second matrix, then I go to math, I go all the way. I just want to show you if you need to have your answer in fractions, how to do it. And then finally, click here, call the matrix, and Voila. Now, look what happens here. I don't have my answer in fractions. Actually, I actually have my answer in decimals. You can change that by doing second math. Oh, I'm sorry. Second answer math. And then click on fractions. Then click again. And look, it will give you the answer in um, improper fractions or a proper fraction, whatever you need to do. Voila! That's it! Please don't forget to watch our other videos and also thanks so much for learning!